There are only a handful of African-American admirals or flag officers in the Navy, and few people of color in some of the Navy's most celebrated communities, such as Naval Aviation, headquartered here in San Diego. It's where the head of the task force, Rear Admiral Alvin Halsey, was based until just recently. I'll tell you, being here, one of, at this point, one of eight black flag officers in the Navy, it's a lonely spot. Uh, but yes, I do know that we're, I think the Navy's committed. I think we can uh, make some, gain some ground here in what we're doing. The task force worried their effort to root out discrimination would be caught up in the past administration's targeting of diversity training, says Dr. Charles Barber. He's the consultant who worked on the report. Some of the things will now be put back into the draft, he says, with the new attitude at the White House. Uh, the concepts of, of, of white privilege and how discussions center around, you know, white privilege. So those are the things that we want to put back in. Critics say the report stresses inclusion and diversity, but didn't look more directly at overt racism. John Clark is a recently retired commander who writes about his experience as an African-American in the Navy. To me, what was disappointing, what was not in the report, uh, there was not a direct discussion of de facto racism and segregation of the current state of the Navy and why we are where we are. A recently released 2017 Pentagon survey showed roughly one in five sailors and officers experienced racial and ethnic discrimination or harassment that year, more than any other service. Clark says the Navy's process for filing discrimination complaints is broken. I know that we have people in our, in our services that don't want racism in our ranks, and they are willing to step up and root it out and speak up when and where they can. Uh, but at the same time, you have some other people, uh, mainly older white men, that want to retain that position of power. Thursday, the new Secretary of Defense ordered a 60-day stand down to talk about racial extremism throughout the military. The Navy's report didn't address hate groups in the ranks. Despite what was left out, Barber, the Navy's consultant, says he plans to stay on to administer the findings, which were based on dozens of focus groups held behind closed doors with sailors. Continuously looking at culture over time so that way we can continuously make, make some progress. We don't want to keep talking about this stuff years and years from now. Rear Admiral Halsey, the leader of the task force, says a top priority now is to bring more people of color and women into leadership roles. It's not a one and done. So imagine every six months. This, this issue is not going to go away. It's going to be embedded in our, our training uh, throughout the, uh, the life of a sailor. And now senior leaders are going to be constantly engaged. And he says the problem won't go away just because a change in administration or the recent confirmation of the first African-American Secretary of Defense. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.